I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Whalmer. Whales are amazing creatures. They live throughout the world's oceans, ranging in size from a few meters right up to the largest animal that has ever lived on the planet. At first glance, whales look not dissimilar from fish. In fact, they are marine mammals, and they share a common ancestor with dogs, cats, and yes, humans like you and I. All of us diverged from one creature around 80 million years ago. Despite being majestic, loving, playful creatures, whales have been victim to the destructive power of man. In the 18th and 19th centuries, hunting whales for their oil was horrifically common. It made a monster of the sperm whale through the novel Moby Dick, and it almost drove the blue whale to extinction. Even as most of the international community has denounced whaling, Japan is almost alone among nations in continuing to hunt whales for their meat. While Japan has hunted whales since the 12th century, and joined in on an industrial scale when the rest of the world was at it, the volume has decreased in recent years. The practice is now done under a surreptitious guise of scientific research, but the meat still ends up in fish markets. It is becoming less popular, and I hold out hope I'll see the end of whaling in my lifetime. Whalema is our first whale Pokemon. It was one of the earliest Generation 3 Pokemon to be revealed, somewhat spherical in shape, with the distinctive blue coloration and ridged lower jaw of one of the filter-feeding species of whale. It has a big, humorous grin, with a row of shiny white teeth which presumably are the kind of baleen teeth which act like a sieve, allowing Whalema to drift through the waters, swallowing tiny organisms like krill. A few Pokedex entries talk about Whalemur shooting jets of water from its spout, a famous trait of real whales, and the huge volume of food it must eat in order to grow big and strong. Pokemon Ruby tells us, Whalemur's nostrils are located above its eyes. This playful Pokemon loves to startle people by forcefully snorting out seawater it stores inside its body out of its nostrils. Pokemon Black 2 tells us, It eats one ton of food every day. It plays by shooting stored seawater out its blowholes with great force. And Pokemon Moon tells us, It shows off by spraying jets of seawater from the nostrils above its eyes. It eats a solid ton of wishy-washy every day. Because, like a real whale, Whalemur can spout water, its likeness is used for the pail which the player can collect and use to water berries in the Hoenn games. Another real-world phenomena on which the Pokedex touches is the often shocking sight of beached whales. As mammals, whales have to head to the surface of the water to breathe, albeit rarely enough. This means they are liable to accidentally wash up on shores. In more recent decades, mass events of whales and dolphins washing ashore have been blamed on sonar and other shipping technologies, confusing the animal's own navigation. Pokemon manages to make Whalemur coming onto land something cute, rather than playing it for horror like a Hideo Kojima joint. Pokemon Sapphire tells us, Whalemur can store water inside its body to transform itself into a ball for bouncing on the ground. By filling itself up with more water, this Pokemon can elevate the height of its bounces. Pokemon Emerald tells us, while this Pokemon usually lives in the sea, it can survive on land, although not too long. It loses vitality if its body becomes dried out. Pokemon Black tells us, on sunny days, it lands on beaches to bounce like a ball and play. It spouts water from its nose. And Pokemon Ultra Moon tells us, Due to their memories of when they once lived on land, pods of them will, very rarely, wash up on shore. The name Whalema combines whale and mer, the French for sea. In this case, whale is spelled to mean a shrieking, piercing song, such as the song Whalema can sing. The Japanese name Hueleku means bellowing child, but 
Huelu, to bellow, does sound like the English word whale. Whalemer's song can be heard in new Pokemon Snap, and like all whale song, it's hauntingly beautiful. By training to level 40, or in Pokemon Go by collecting an enormous 400 candy, Whalemer can evolve into the massive Waylord. Hi Luke Loves Pokemon, it's Jonathan Cromie, the composer for the podcast. Hope you're all enjoying it. Uh, I'm coming here today to talk to you about Waylord. It's bloody huge! Hope you enjoy the rest of the show. The blue whale is the largest animal which has ever lived on our Earth. Its tail is like an airplane. Its heart is the size of a car. Its length and weight are difficult to picture based simply on photos and videos surrounded by the endless oceans. At the Natural History Museum in London, a life-size model in the Hall of Mammals and an authentic skeleton in the main entrance can help to emphasize just how big these brilliant beasts are. And if that's not enough, my friend Colin's sister went whale watching and one jumped on her dinghy. The footage is pretty scary, but luckily she was just pushed under the water with minimal injury. Waylord is our blue whale Pokemon. And appropriately enough, it is the biggest of all Pokemon, ignoring, you know, Gigantamax and things. Waylord is a slightly inflated, blimp-like blue whale, with fins and a tail which actually somewhat resemble the oars and the stern of an old longship. It has an adorable appearance, though this is definitely a Pokemon which looked cooler as a sprite than it does as a 3D model. Seen today, it is much simplified from the ancient and wise appearance of blue whales. Real whales have a science fiction quality to them. Looking into their eyes, you could imagine them drifting through space, the whole universe existing only in their dreams. When you look at Waylord's eyes and happy, dopey smile, it's hard to imagine much going on at all. Like real whales, Waylord is a mammal. Unlike real whales, this allows it to breed with other members of the field egg group. Infamously, yes, including Skitty. Of course, many Pokedex entries talk about Waylord's size, or the remarkable abilities which it shares with real whales. Pokemon Ruby tells us, Waylord is the largest of all identified Pokemon up to now. This giant Pokemon swims languorously in the vast open sea, eating massive amounts of food at once with its enormous mouth. Pokemon Sapphire tells us, When chasing prey, Waylord herds them by leaping out of the water and making a humongous splash. It is breathtaking to see this Pokemon leaping out of the sea with others in its pod. Pokemon Emerald tells us, It breathes through nostrils that it raises above the sea. By inhaling to its maximum capacity, a Waylord can dive close to 10,000 feet beneath the waves. And Pokemon Moon tells us, Its immense size is the reason for its popularity. Waylord watching is a favorite sightseeing activity in various parts of the world. I'm not a big fan of the Ultra Sun Pokedex for Waylord, which sounds a bit like an excuse Shinzo Abe would have given the International Whaling Commission. Uh, they eat so many fish Pokemon that when Waylord become too numerous, fishermen have to chase them off. On the other hand, I love how adorable the Ultra Moon entry is. When a small Whalemer is attacked by Sharpedo or Dalmise, its whole pod works together to protect it. Of course, back on the Game Boy Advance, we could only imagine Waylord's size when looking at its little sprite and reading Pokedex entries. Later, we got to see it in all its majesty, in Pokemon Coliseum, XD Gale of Darkness, and especially Battle Revolution on the GameCube and Wii. A lot of people were disappointed, therefore, when they first threw a Waylord out into battle in Pokemon Sword and Shield, only to see something the size of an inflatable beach toy. More recently, Waylord has made some great showings. In the Isle of Armor expansion to Sword and Shield, a Waylord spawns in the overworld, and its size really is something to behold, as the player surfs around it. 
than earlier this year we had new Pokemon Snap. The sight of Waylord looming underwater, growing bigger and bigger as it approaches, and then finally breaching, is really something. Waylord has never been a mainstay in the competitive video game scene, though as I understand it, it is a pretty tasty trading card. The name Waylord obviously takes Whalmer and ranks it up to a lord. The Japanese name Waylo means a whale king. I love Waylord every time I see its big dopey face burst out of the ocean, whatever game or anime I happen to see it in. Music for Luke Loves Pokemon is performed by Jonathan Cromie, and artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, producing and editing is all by me, Luke Summerhays. Usually at this point, I would plug the social media and the Patreon, but today I'd rather ask you to do something else. Instead of following me, getting in touch, rating 5 stars, or supporting on Patreon, please visit the World Wildlife Fund, or the WDC, Whale and Dolphin Conservation, and see what you can do or donate to help these majestic creatures. I feel like I have a personal responsibility to contribute to such charities as, at a staff meal a couple of years back, I unknowingly ate some whale. I thought it was a chicken nugget. I'm Luke Summerhays, and I hate whaling, but I love whales, I love whalemer, I love waylord, and remember, I love you too. <laughs>